Warren didn't know he was. It's a remarkable achievement by anyone's standards. It took me some time to process what just occurred. Munira Khalif, a senior at Mounds Park Academy, has been accepted into all eight Ivy League schools and Stanford and Georgetown and the University of Minnesota. And I'm humbled to even be able to have these choices because I know that that's not the case for everyone. Khalif was born and raised in the Twin Cities, the daughter of two Somali immigrants who fled the country during civil war. My mom told me about her own story growing up in Somalia and her dad was very revolutionary in the way that he was thinking. He said, I'm not only going to send my sons to school, um, but also my daughters. So, in addition to her stellar grades and test scores, she already has the resume of a world leader, a state speech champion, global youth ambassador, recipient to the United Nations Youth Courage Award, not to mention founder of her own nonprofit, Lighting the Way, focused on education for East African youth. I have no doubt that wherever she ends up, she's going to maximize every opportunity they give her. Both her college counselor and principal say they've seen this coming for some time. I'm not surprised because we've had the benefit of seeing her every day, but I'm still surprised and in, in awe of the achievement. Khalif's parents wanted to give her an opportunity. She now has 11 of them. And you're not accepted because of a score. You're accepted because of the person that you are. In St. Paul, Chris Harapsky, CARE 11 News. That time of year when high school seniors nervously await word on whether or not they've been accepted to college. Yeah, is it the fat envelope or the thin one? <laughs> one Metro student has all sorts of options, though, including welcome letters from all eight Ivy League schools. Incredible. Fox 9's Leah Bino joining us. Leah, she is some incredible student. Yes, like many people, I am just in awe of this young woman. She admits it's taken her a few days to process all the big news. It all happened on March 31st, which is commonly known as Ivy Day. That is the day many Ivy League hopefuls find out if they made it into the schools they applied to or not. And over and over again, this young lady has reasons to celebrate. No, it's, I, it's, it's been very surreal. Um, I wasn't expecting this, honestly. Comfortable in her classroom, surrounded by classmates, Munera Halif is as humble as she is driven. Her parents moved her from Fridley Public Schools to Mounds Park Academy in the sixth grade. At the small private school in St. Paul, Munira caught the attention of school administrators immediately. She is composed and she is just articulate all the time. Um, she wouldn't say that. She, like I said, she would say she's not. And the rest of us would say, yeah, you are. And those of us at 18 years old, very few of us knew how to be that composed in life, and she's pretty remarkable. By her senior year, 18-year-old Manira has already lobbied Congress in D.C. She is the founder of the Social Consciousness Club at her school. She's a state speech champion, and she started a nonprofit club called Lighting the Way, aimed at making education more accessible for East African children, especially girls. Plus, she is one of just nine young activists around the globe to receive the United Nations Special Envoy for Global Education Youth Courage Award. My parents are both Somali immigrants, and so I think the, the, the thing is when you come here as an immigrant is you're hoping to have opportunities not only for yourself but also for your kids, and that's always been at the back of my mind. Armed with her accolades and a high ACT score, Munera researched and applied to all eight Ivy League schools, plus Stanford, Georgetown, and the University of Minnesota. She was accepted to all of them. Complete disbelief, um, and honestly, it, I, I was, I was, you know, completely in disbelief. I was in shock that it was, it was happening. But also, I just felt incredibly humbled again. Just to have the options, that, that to me is very humbling. While she's surprised, her guidance counselor was not. She has a stronger sense of who she is and where she wants to go and what she needs to do to accomplish those goals than many 18-year-olds, and I think that will help her decide in the end which place um, is going to be the best fit for her. She clearly wants to change the world. Yes, she does, and I have no doubt that she will do it. <laughs> Remember the name. Munira has toured a few, few campuses, but plans to look at a few more before deciding where she will go. She must decide by May 1st and plans to major in political science. And get this, Jeff and Kelsey, in her free time just to relax, she likes to write poetry. Oh, wow. Yeah. She's Quite incredible. Remarkable. So excited for her. And there are two other kids that we've learned, a Long Island kid and an Indianapolis yeah. kid who also got accepted to all eight Ivy League schools. But political science, maybe she could be in a ballot someday. Mm -hmm. Pretty impressive. All right.